with some parsley or maybe some of these carrots on the outside. Thank you very much, Gigi, thank you very much. Welcome, uh, I'm very, very excited for this year's summer conference because we're in a new location. Everybody's excited about the facility, about the rooms. And the strategy all of us have to deal with the pain that we're suffering, the collective pain as well as the individual pain, is to get numb. Now we're seeing younger and younger people getting sick because there's no anesthetic like McDonald's or sugar or candy. And that leads to an addiction that we need stronger anesthetic and that means drugs. You stop drinking soda, eating Snicker bars and living on ring dings, burgers and fries, trust me, you're gonna get better. We all have to dig a little deeper to a deeper resource within us and that's what's available to us now. Does the food you're choosing to eat at this moment serve the purpose of your life? We filled this table with the most delicious, nourishing, healthy, macrobiotic foods on the planet. The food is, is creative. You find ways to make it interesting without using like, sugar. We always use like a small pinch of salt. In this conference, please get acquainted with new friends. You can get support and learn this. We scanned me that afternoon to find three tumors in the left lung, seven in the right, three in my liver, one in my pancreas, a mass in my abdomen. We did a bronchoscopy two days later and it was in the limb system and I also had five ribs affected. Your body is the most exquisite healing machine on the planet. The physician there said I would probably only live three to six weeks. And if given half a chance, if changing the external and internal environment, you can heal yourself. My cholesterol had gone from 208 to 148. My triglycerides went down 70%. Um, a year later, uh, we scanned me to find all my tumors were gone. And my doctor looked at me and, and he couldn't believe I was the same guy that, that left two months ago with all these concerns that he was all worried about me. And he, and he asked me, he goes, what are you doing? And I told him. And he, he sort of like, yeah, but what else are you doing? <laughs> he, just, he just couldn't believe it was food. April was 13 years for me. I've not had a reoccurrence. I don't. I don't know God's plan, but I have to tell you, um, it, it, the food is important, but so is love. There's nothing like love. So if someone you love has uh, an illness, surround them with love. I'm 81, I can still stand on my head, I can squat, I can keep up with most of you young folks on the dance floor. <laughs> and I really give credit to my way of eating because I couldn't do that at 50. And here I am 30 some odd years later, I'm in better shape than I was then. So it's a tribute to the incredible healing powers of our body. Again, thank you very much. Have a safe journey home, and we'll see you next year. Thank you.